Hi everyone, what's up? Well, I do have some couple of news to share with you before I make the long-awaited tarantula feeding video 102. The last time I fed the teas was the 18th of February, about a month ago. Sorry about that, I've just been super busy and hopefully that this video is going to be much more happier than the previous video with the uh, strategy of um, Swiss inverts as well as my Phonopalma calcodes uh, dying. Also have another death report, unfortunately, was my female Bibomi, um, Molina, and I kind of knew she wasn't doing well because she wouldn't eat, and I think something happened with her digestive system, it was kind of blocked, so uh, she wasn't eating. She had perfect fangs, uh, didn't have any nematodes, so yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's unfortunate, but hopefully my other teas are doing fine, we're going to go update them, and feed them. Okay, so this is the very first tea that we're going to feature. She is my near 6 inch uh, female Lassiadora difficilis, the Brazilian fire red bird eater. She is missing a palp and you can see her bent leg is no more bent. And she's happily eating again. So I'm not in the least bit of worry that she's going to do alright. Hopefully the next molt that she molts out, probably within another year or so, she's going to get back her missing palp. Okay, now we'll feed the Vicalaria urticans, 6 inch female, giant Peru pink toe. <laughs> she's just like a jack in a box. Alright, here's a tea that you haven't seen in a while. This is my Cherniochilis Lagardi Fort Hall Baboon a Star. She's a four and a half inch mature female. Yeah. She got the worm. She's really fat too. And I'm not gonna open up her hide to see how well she is, but she's kinda fast and Pretty defensive, but nowhere as near as my OBT. Hiya, Carmela. You don't seem very happy to see me. Alright, OBT. Terneochilis Moranus Red Form. Ooh. She don't look too happy, is she? Guess not. Oh well. Okay, Phlogius Crassipeeps. This is the Queensland Island Whistling Spider from Australia. One of my few Aussie teas. <laughs> she ate like nothing. This is a four and a half inch female. Did a good job. This is definitely a tea that I know is going to eat well. Uh, this is my mature female, Eupalestris camprostratus, the pink zebra beauty. She's four and a half inches and sexually mature. There you are. Love the colors on the pink zebra beauty. Alright, let's feed a four and a half inch female Gramosola pulcropes, Choco Goldeny. This is Wendy. Uh, she's my smallest of the three that I own. Not a problem with her. Well, my friends, we just got a molt from my B. Melia. I think this is a couple of days old. But I want to show you her pretty colors. Spectacular. She looks to be in around the three and a half to four inch mark. Just uh, shy of a full size of four and a half inches. So let's see if she'll be interested in eating. This is her first meal since she molted. And I think this was a couple of days ago, so I think she should be okay to feed.
Let's see. Uh, I guess not. Isn't she beautiful? Very, very pretty spider. This is without a shadow of a doubt one of my most strongest and popular feeders in my collection. Uh, this is my Rocky Palma Classy, the Mexican Pink. Excellent. Tarantula Canada might actually get some B Classy in their Rocky Palma shipment. I know they're getting some Rocky Palma Anitha the Mexican Orange Beauty and sure enough I'm actually going to buy a specimen or two. Here's Mystery, Ceracanthus Livingstoni, the Livingston's tree. Oh nice! It's been a while since I last uh, actually caught her on film eating. Very sweet. A known species and identified to be the sea living stony. Here's Derek, my three inch male Acanthus curia geniculata, the Brazilian giant white knee. Look at him pounce. He sure was hungry. Here's Genesis, my Zenitha C. Monis, the Colombian lesser black tea on moist substrate. Seems to love it. This is a male. Let's bring it closer to him. <laughs> I gave him an offer that he couldn't refuse. He ate a superworm. And that's his thing. <laughs> kind of cool with the carapace. Now I do have reason to believe that my Arminia uh, is probably in pre-molt right now and that's probably the reason why I'm delaying the mating attempt. So that's probably a good thing because if I try to mate her when she is actually in pre-molt uh, she might actually molt out and lose her fertility. So hopefully if I don't see any activity within the week I will uh, try to mate her. Okay now time for a big bad S. calcite and feather like baboon. Yeah, I just saw an attack. There's part of her abdomen. Just to give you an idea of her size. Man, she is huge. Look how thick her legs are. Yeah, they kind of look like feathers. Now I get it why they call it the feather like baboon. Yeah, this is her color in the light. Kind of looks like an HMAC. Much, much more hairier and a little bit darker colored. Not as subdued as the Max, but... Man, these things are monsters. Especially very evil. One of my favorites, uh, P. Miranda, the Bengal Spotted Ornamental. This is a 5 inch female. <laughs> there you go. Took a little while there. Here's Lisa, Tabnikinia Sancti Vincenti, St. Vincent's Tree Spider, and you can see for herself, uh, she ain't in a good mood. Hopefully, a super worm might calm her down. Ooh, nice fangs. Look at that. She's the beast. Wow, she actually has some sort of blue going on in her femurs. 
very, very cool looking to have in Akinius. Okay, here's Joelle. This is my large uh, P. ornata female, 8 inches. See the colors of my Renata after she freshly molted a couple of weeks ago. Huge, huge Renata. Now back to some terrestrials now. This is Goma. She is an LP, salmon pink bird eater. Very, very nice. Here's another LP. That's Daisy. She's the mid-size of my trio. Again, hungry as ever. Here's Desires. This is Logan's uh, agenic alata male that molted when I got him about a month ago. <laughs> Look at him. He's a pro. Here's my 6 plus inch female, Canthoscuria Brocklehursty. This is known as the Giant White Banded. Her name is Sasha. Oh, there she goes. Good job. You can see how bulky she is from her Molts. Alright, one of my very serious web builders. <laughs> Alright, this one here is my Kilo Brachys Guanasiensis, the Chinese fan. And this is going to be quick. I'll push it closer. Oop, there we go. She got it. About a five an inch. Five and a half inches. Pretty nice brown color. Here's my GBB, Chromata Palma Sanipubescens, the most pickiest eater in all my collection. See if she'll eat the super. What? She actually ate the super. Holy crap. This is new. Yes, Haley and Leah. Let's go look at my guinea pigs. They want their fame. Hey. I'll feed them a little later on in the video. Gotta clean their cage. They always poop a lot. Hey. Here's my lovely P. Rufalata, the red slate ornamental named Caitlin. She's five or six years old and she's seven and a half inches. Okay, so let me put the super worm where it needs to go in her burrow. <laughs> nice. But we got some fang action going on. Ooh, I hate to be bitten by that pokey. This is my mature male E. Campestratus, Pink Super Beauty, Floyd. Still alive and eating well. Over here is me largest Chaco I have. Here's uh, Charlotte. She's like it's almost six inches now. There we go. Never ceases to amaze me. Okay, an update on my Galudi's Grandee, the Solifugid. Still doing well, but severely weakening.
poor thing. Tarantula Canada had like three of them that died within a month after owning them. And I'm surprised mine's still alive and doing well. They're very difficult to keep in captivity. Here's one of my G. Rosea that is an extreme web builder, very rare sighting. Uh, so here's Michaela. This is like a five and a half inch female. Yeah, very gentle. Let's try Scarlet, my newly molted Brachypalma Smithy, Mexican Ridney. She looks so beautiful after her molt. See if she's got it back her appetite again. Yes, indeed. She got her appetite back. Okay, here is a Pocotheria anima vila semica, the rummish warm ornamental. Nice drop from Zafina. Loves to hide. Here's an Avicularia Leita, the Puerto Rican Pinto, two inch female named Molly. Alright, this should be quick. Oh, there we go. I did not expect that. So this is what Avic Leda look like as juveniles. They're a traditional brown Avic. Well, not traditional, I would say. I do think traditional about these is that they have the pink toes. And they're quite fast. Okay, why don't you go inside? And behave, Miss Molly. That a girl. Here's Darius. He's starting to become a big boy now. Uh, this is a immature male, Nandu Tripepi, the giant blonde bird eater. Or a giant strawberry blonde bird eater, whichever you like to call them. Yay, he's back to eating now. That's good. And this is a Tapanikinius gigas, a female. Nice job. She got the superworm. Here's Abby, a Holotheli Incy, the Trinidad Olive. Excellent. Into hole you go, and this is a two and a half inch adult female. Okay, so I'm kind of behind on my rehouses. I do have to rehouse this uh, female, uh, Lassiodora fracta, the Brazilian smoky gray bird eater. Let's see how she does. Not too bad at all. Here's a juvie female S. calcinetum, fifth leg baboon. Grabbed it instantly. Let's try the Linotheli megatheloides, Bolivian diplorid. Oh, there we go. Kind of hard to see. And there she is. It's around three and a half to four inches. And the name says it all. P. fasciata. Sri Lankan ornamental. This one's a male. <laughs> Just loves the supers. 
And how I determined him to be a male is that you look at his folio stripe, the abdomen, you can see the dark is kind of being more prominent than the white outline. That's a good sign that you have a male pokey. Alright, Veridacea species, Madagascar fishing spider. You can see it's kind of giving like a pokey stance. Stretched out like that. Boom! Excellent! Now that's what I'm talking about. Isabella, my spawn from hell. <laughs> Form Ectopus Concerides, Haitian Brown Bird Eater. Let's see what she's going to do. And what a pig. Here's Peach, my last Chaco. Gramasola pulcropes. Here's a better view of the P. platus that molted. Uh, she should be ready to feed. All right, there we go. Yep. Ooh. Cricket juice. <laughs> well, I guess uh, you know he did. Wow. I told you these uh, Formictopus species are hungry eaters. They're super voracious. My goodness, and fast growing too. Okay, let's bring Trinity out. She's my A. versicolor female. she is. Alright, here we have a Lamprapelma of Alisiopes, the Singapore violet. Oh! Oh, yeah, you got it. Yeah, that's for sure. Done as dead. Now let's check up my uh, Haplopus species Columbia Large. Oh, goodness, look at that, she molted. And I just showed it to someone who came by uh, this morning, and I showed him the specimen, and she wasn't anywhere in pre-molts, and lo and behold, I guess she must have molted a couple of hours ago. So definitely won't be able to feed her until at least a week after she molted. So... She looks really big right now. Let's say she looks to be about an inch and a half now. So here's the new Kina pumpkin patch. Yeah, I would say good about an inch and a half right now. Hmm. She put on quite a big size now. That's good to see. Next up is the Thrixopama sinulum, the cobalt red rump, Marin. I previously handled her in a video. Yep. She grabbed the cricket. Here's a Trinidad Chevron, Salon Polis Cambridge. Grab the cricket. Alright, here's my Pocotheria Safasca Lowland, or Barra. Charmaine that freshly molted. You can see her colors are so vibrant after her molt. Very, very nice. Here's a big P Formosa, Salem Ornamental. Her name is Salem. Whoa! That was awesome. Yeah, 
She keeps spawn putting some substrate in her water dish. But that was cool. Nice somersault. Here's Big Trina. She's a 7 plus inch mature female Samapoas Camergi. Trinidad Chevron. Oh, she's hungry. I don't know what's the point of her webbing there. Not she did, all over. No sign of pre molts. Here's another evil tea of mine. Uh, Jezebel, P. Concerides, female. I got this one from the pet store. She looks gentle on camera, but holy cow, you have to see her temperament up close and personal. Not a tea to um, piss off. Alright, I missed this attack. Uh, this is from my Samopos Reduncus, Costa Rican Orange Mouth. <laughs> as soon as I put that uh, carpet beetle larva in there, she decided to chase after it. And just go out to film it, and I kind of missed it. But let me try that with uh, the people cur, and see if we'll repeat that. Here she is. I think she's kind of big enough for a small cricket. <laughs> I don't even know if I caught that on film. Holy cow! Gotta love your Samapoa species, that's for sure. Alright, the largest tea in my collection is my Theraphosa Sturmi, the Burgundy Goliath Bird Eater. Here's Gretel. And I'll get the second one. Usually she eats two supers. She's absolutely humongous. Definitely the largest tea that I own. <laughs> Looks to be around the nine and a half to ten inches range. Hmm. Now she could be due for a molt. So her colors are not working, looking the greatest. Here's Claire, my Brachypalma erratum female. Mexican flame knee. Not a problem with her. I'm just looking forward to get my bee Nitha when it comes in. Here's Leon, my male. Yeah, gotta love your bee Aradim. Flame knee. Got my hard hitting rose hair. This is Morse Rose, a Girosea red form. <laughs> there we go pleases me. Alright, this is my last LP female. This is Daniela. The largest one and definitely my more defensive. Not a problem with her. Okay everyone, this is a very cool coincidence. I have a Brachypalma Verdezi, the Mexican Rose Gray. Here is a uh, Dr. Cossack, who is my male, and Kalinka, who is my female, and both are in premolt together. You can see the abdomen on Dr. Cossack exhibits the dark blue abdomen patch that's bald. And if you look at my female Kalinka, she's the same way. Wow, cool. That's very cool to see. They're both going to grow exactly at the same time. Hopefully I'll catch it on the film. Hopefully. Okay, so won't feed them until they molt. And then when they do molt, a week later. Here's a Phobus rufescens, the burgundy skeleton. Nice job. 
This one's always a good eater. This is my Cuban Pygmy, Critopholus Ramsey. Just love the name. Crunch. Not a problem for the Tektite. This is my Formictopus erratus. This is the Cuban bronze. Same genus as the Cancerides. Who's never a disappointment in my collection. Okay, so let's see if I can try to feed Mia. Uh, she is my P. Metallica, Goody Sapphire Ornamental. I right, guess she's not hungry. But here's what she looks like. Extremely skittish. And that's her blue. Oh well, worth a try anyway. And you can see her folio stripe, which is the admin pattern. You can see how bright it is. That's a good female for you. Second shot of getting a P. Metallica, and this time it's a female. Awesomeness. Just four more teas left. This one here is my Thrixo Palma Perurians, the Chilean Green Velvet. That I got from Sturby76. <laughs> there you are. Okay, here's another little dwarf. This one is my Oligosteri Diamantinensis, the Brazilian Blue Dwarf Beauty. Recently did a Mythbuster video on my ocean. As you can see, she's a fantastic eater. Megaphobema robustum, the Colombian Giant Red Lake. Wow. That was super. And I saved the best for last. Ah, uh, my favorite. Pampibetus ultramarinus, Ecuadorian purple blue femur. Okay, really gotta be careful with her. She tried to bite me the last time. Panthos are really good eaters. And she's no exception. Alright, Maggie, time for your fame. My eight year old female Chih Tzu. Give, give me a paw. Give me a paw. Come on. Oh. Sit, give me a paw. 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 paw. Roll over. Good girl. Dance. Half half. Good girl. Time for you. Oh, I know what you want. You want some lettuce, don't you? Okay, so let's film Haley eating her lettuce. Oh, you're next, uh, Leah. This is Leah. She is an Abyssinian female. Uh, she was born on the 10th of October of 2012, and I adopted her on my birthday, which was November 8th. So she's the youngest. And this is Haley. She is a Silky. I first bought her on September 12th of 2012. Do you have a video of there? So they like to chew on some romaine lettuce. Hey. You like that? 
And Haley's pretty much all done. And Leah's just finishing up hers. Here. No, 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 no. A, what is. Here. What a stealer. You're such a pig. You're such a pig, aren't you? Hmm? No, no, no. <laughs> Look at them. Alright, time to put you back. So, that concludes the awesome feeding video. Hope you enjoyed everyone, and thanks for watching. Next video will be the second part of Silent Hill 1, the Midwich Elementary School.